everybody! Welcome to episode 2 of Inky Tea Time. Today I'm having from the Stash brand uh, the Ginger Herbal Tea, which maybe you can see it. Alright, so today I just wanted to chill and talk to you guys about some new stuff I got. It's mostly, well, it's pretty much all fountain pen related. Mostly from Goulet Pants. I also got some stuff that I bought uh, on Facebook from someone else that was selling some of her pens. So I'll actually start with that because that came first. Uh, the first thing I bought from her, I'm not going to mention her name because I'm not sure if she would want public displays of her name. So I'll just say what I bought from her. The first thing was this Conkling Durograph Purple Nights pen, which I was super excited about because I love purple and red pens. Uh, purple and red everything, but this was gorgeous. I had been wanting it actually. Also because I had been wanting another pen to use my Goulet 1.5 nib with. I actually, as soon as I got the pen, I changed the nib immediately because I tried the Conflame Durograph nib. It came with a medium-sized nib and I mean not that I have the most experience with fountain pens, but this was the worst nib I have ever written with. I have actually heard similar reviews basically saying the same thing, that the Conkling Durograph nibs are pretty bad. So I confirmed that it was it was bad. So I'm just super happy with it with the Goulet nib though. You will see zoomed in close-up clips of everything I show by the way. So that was the first thing. And then I also got from her, which I was super excited about because as many of you know, it's not really sold on retail anymore. The Lamy Dark Lilac Special Edition pen from 2016. So she sold it to me with an extra fine nib that I also changed uh, to for basically one of the things I got at Goulet pens later on was the 1.9 calligraphy nib. I basically wanted it to be able to use the pen for calligraphy and that way I will use it more. I tried out the extra fine nib and I also was not a huge fan of it so I don't think I'll be using it much. It's nice, it's fine, it does its job but it's very scratchy and not in a good way because I like scratchy pens. Um, I'll talk about another pen that I find a little bit scratchy but in a good way later on so we'll talk about that later. So those two pens were technically all I bought from her, but then she was super awesome and super nice and included uh, three ink samples. Uh, some of them, two of them clearly are directly from Goulet. The other one I think she probably filled it with some other ink because it's written down by hand. So she included Diamine Damson, Diamine Red Dragon, which I have been wanting to try, and the J.R. Bond Bouquet Diantan, or however that is pronounced. That was all I got from her. She actually included the Lamy with the converter and also an extra cartridge, which is nice. I'm, I've already been using the converter. And then as for the stuff I got from Goulet Pens, I will start with the first thing, basically the only thing that I was actually going to get. Getting this notebook led to spending way more money than I expected, but if any of you have shot from Goulet, it probably works that way. <laughs> so I already put a sticker on it that wasn't there before. It's all, it all looks like this, plain. Uh, it's actually a very nice color. So this is the Tomoe River 68 GSM Goulet notebook in a pocket size, and then it is a dot grid. I actually like that they're plain because that way I can personalize it however I want. The color itself is, it's like a reddish brown. Yeah, let's go with that. Reddish brown. It's very nice. I actually really like the color. I already tested it out. You will see what I wrote on it in the close-ups that I will be showing throughout this video. So the next thing I got was the Traveler's Notebook brand uh, plastic pockets. Uh, the pocket stickers? Pocket stickers. Yeah, that's what they're uh, technically called. You'll see that it's missing one because I already started using it, but it's basically this pack that comes with one horizontally aligned pocket and then two that are sort of like small secretarial pockets. You get two, one for each side. So I'll show you how I, how, how I already started using one of them. In my new look term bullet journal, I decided to put one here in the front and the, basically on the inside of the cover page in front of some other sticker paper that I decided to put there. 
I plan on just putting maybe some of my new business cards in there or any other small notes that I can that I don't know where else to put they will go in there the next thing I got from Goulet were two pens different though so this one is Caran d'Ache brush pen in the medium size nib similar to the very popular Pentel uh, water brush pens but this one works with instead of squeezing the whole tube this one has a little button there that says push and i haven't tried it out yet we will see how it works i will probably post something i've done with this in instagram or something maybe i'll do another inky time drawing with this one we'll see um no promises it will definitely be on instagram though <laughs> And then the next pen I got was the Platinum Preppy pen. So this is like a less than $5 pen, super cheap. And I've heard nothing but good things about it. It's not the prettiest of pens, but apparently it's reliable and consistent. And so far it has delivered. I got it in an extra fine nib. Basically the main reason why I got this was because I was on the hunt for the finest nib I could find for drawing or small writing purposes. I have a very small handwriting so I wanted to see what's the finest I can find. This is really fine. And this is exactly the type of pen that is scratchy, but in a good way. It feels like you're writing with a sharp pencil, which I love the feeling. It feels very tactile. I am really liking it. Of course, because it's so skinny, the nib, it doesn't show off your inks. Um, it still looks good though. The nib inks look good, but whatever properties the ink has, it's not gonna show as beautiful as it would with a medium nib or bigger usually so but for the purpose that i got it from it's awesome so far so good it's gonna be my new like background pen probably uh not that i really baby my pens ever but i don't feel less bad with that one <laughs> and then finally i got i went a bit overboard with the ink samples because they're so cheap and I want to try a lot of ink and the colors are beautiful and I just wanted to try a bunch of them. The colors I got are Diamine Ancient Copper, Diamine Grape, Nemocene Nebula, Colsac Nebula, I'm sorry, Robert Oster River of Fire, Hilote Hiroshizuku Fuyu Siobun, the Organic Studio Nitrogen, Noodlers Black Swan and Australian Roses, Roar and Klinger Alt Gold Grun, and Noodlers Golden Brown. I haven't tried all of the colors yet, but the ones that I've tried so far, I like all of them really. But my favorite ones are definitely Organic Studio Nitrogen. It is glorious. It is, has the most magical sheen. You have to try it if you haven't tried it. It's At first it looks blue, but as it dries, it gets this almost metallic looking um, purple sheen. And it's, oh, it's so awesome. It's great. I have already posted a few pictures of that on my Instagram if you want to check those out. And then I also love, um, what was the name? Nemosine. Nemosine Colsac Nebula. Shimmer is basically my guilty pleasure on inks. I know some people think it's a little tacky or a bit too much, but I like the shimmer. I like, I like how fun it looks, and especially because that ink is dark, it's, it's not pitch black, but it's almost, almost there. It's like an extremely dark gray with silver shimmer and then in some pictures that i've seen it looks like it has a bit of a reddish sheen i still haven't gotten that out of the ink yet maybe when i try with a stub i'll get it because so far i've tried it with a medium nib and everything you write just everything that you write looks like a galaxy it looks awesome and then asian copper the diamine asian copper i really like it um that one is in my default color family i love the terracotta colors and the warm deep reds kind of colors and that one is awesome especially for drawing with a brush pen i actually put it in my one of my pen tilt brush pens and so far i love it i plan on doing a drawing soon with that ink and the water brush actually i want to try it out those in combination i hope you enjoyed your tea and got some ideas of what to get next if you're planning on go doing a little online shopping trip I hope this helps you out. So far, out of all these products, there's nothing I don't like. So I can actually recommend everything, especially actually the notebook. That's the second one I get of the same one. So that's it. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you later next week on my next video. Bye.